Imagine turning every purchase into a reason for your customers to come back again. A points and rewards system does exactly that. It keeps your shoppers engaged, builds loyalty and gives them more reasons to choose you over competitors. It's like creating your own cycle of happy repeat customers. It's an easy win for both you and your customers. And therefore, today I'm going to show you an awesome points and rewards plugin, which allows you to build customer loyalty. For example, you can create all sorts of rewards, points for purchase. You can reward based on spending and referrals. You can reward customers for creating or signing up, writing a review. You can even create rewards for the birthdays. It works in a way that if there are any rewards, then customers can redeem them on a checkout page get the discount and come back for more. Setting this up is really easy. It's going to take only a couple of minutes. So let's dive in. The plugin we're going to use today is called Points and Rewards for WooCommerce by WP Loyalty, the one you see on the screen right now. As you see, currently it has more than 1000 active installations, awesome reviews, and it has a free version and a pro version. If you scroll down, you'll see all the features for the free version and there is a link to the pro version. The pro version is this one here, and this one here is a current pricing. As you see, single site license is $99 per year. Professional license is $129 per year. This one is for three sites, and 10 sites license is $199 per year. These are the official prices, but if you take a look at the description of this video, then there is a nice 20% discount coupon for you. Just follow the link, use the coupon, and you're good to go. Now I'm going to go to the WordPress dashboard and after installation you'll see there is a WP loyalty menu on the left. If you click on it, you'll see the dashboard and the dashboard displays all the points that your customers have earned. You'll see all the total rewards, total value redeemed, number of orders and total value for the orders. You can filter them by time and by currency. If you scroll down, you'll see additional information and recent activities. If you open up the customers tab, then you'll see all the customers who have earned points. You can edit customers by adding their birthdays. You can add them points or subtract points or overwrite points. Basically, if you would like to manually add points for your customers, then use this option here. Down below, you'll see all the transaction details for this customer and you can search their order numbers. You can also add customers manually. You can import customers with the points. For example, if you use any other rewards system, then you can import those customers with the loyalty rewards into this system here. And there is an export button also here. This year displays all your campaigns. Later, I'm going to come back here and I'm going to show you how to create campaigns. This one allows you to create rewards. Once again, later, I'm going to show you how to do that. Also, I'm going to show you how to create levels. Under the add-ons, you can activate or deactivate launcher and points expiry extensions. If I open up the launcher, then this allows me to customize this launcher, which is displayed on the site. This one here. You can add your own logo or hide it, customize colors and choose whether to display the WP loyalty branding or not. If you open up the content, then you can customize the content for the guests and for the members. And this one is for the launcher itself. Was it to display icon with text, icon only, text only, and you can display it based on the conditions, a home page, or URL contains, or doesn't contain. Change the text, font family, and some other details here. If everything is done, back to the main settings. And let's take a look at the points expiry add-on. Under the settings, you can enable whether the points expiry feature is enabled and how long the points will be valid. I have set it for 45 days, but you can add your own number here. You can activate whether to send an email notification before the expiry of points. I have set it up for seven days. And you can show a list of upcoming points expiration in the customer reward page. What is a customer reward page is if you go to your WooCommerce dashboard, there is a points and rewards tab. It displays all your points, your current level and used and expiry coupons. You can also manage the email template. Just open it up and you can customize the email. Under the settings, you can set up the routing. 
set up when the customer will be rewarded when the order is successful. I have set it up when the order status is processing or completed. Unsuccessful order status cancelled, refunded, failed. And you can set up the labels, prefix for your reward coupons or a referral code prefix. Next, when you would like to create a custom record automatically, I have set it up when sign in, but you can also set it up when sign up. And there are some other options here. Save changes and move to the display message. Where would you like to display the message on the single product page? I'm going to go to the single product page. I'm going to open up this product and you'll see currently it displays before the add to cart button this one here, but you can change the location after add to cart, before product title, after product title and so on. This is for the single product page. You can change the location for the cart pages. Currently it displays here. The same with the checkout page, thank you page. And now there are some branding options. You can change the border colors, text colors, background colors and so on. These were the display messages. Now customer reward page. You can create a separate page for it. For example, I have created the page loyalty rewards and it displays all the same information that I showed you before. The one that is also displayed under the my account tab. But if you need, then you can customize the content here. Next one is emails and you can customize all the email content. For example, if points are earned, what is the content, whether to enable or disable it. Edit the content itself, same with the rewards earned, reward expire notification and all other emails can be customized here. And this is basically it for this, all the settings and overview. Now I'm going to go and create some campaigns. First, I'm going to delete all the campaigns I previously created. I'm going to delete point conversion and I'm going to delete all the levels. Before I proceed with the video. Don't forget to smash that like button down below here. It means a lot to me and it also helps my channel. So I would appreciate your help. Now let's go back to the campaigns and I'm going to create a new campaign. I can choose between 12 different campaigns. First I'm going to create points for the purchase. So I'm going to create points for bronze level users. I don't need any description but I can add it. So customer earn points one points for every 10 euros they spend. I can set up the minimum points and maximum points. I can set up the campaign start date. Maybe I would like to earn more points than usually during the Black Friday, then I can do it here. At the moment, I'm not going to do that. Next campaign visibility on ways to earn section. I'm going to show it, but I can also hide it. What is the ways to earn section. As you see, there is a ways to earn rewards section on the my account page. It's displayed here. Under the advanced settings, whether to display a message on points in the product page, so the customer knows about the reward. Now I can choose whether to display it in archive and single product pages, hide the message on archive pages or single product pages only. What is the difference? I'm going to show you in a minute. But here you can customize the message itself. Now I'm going to save and close. Next I'm going to go to the rewards and I'm going to create a new reward. Points conversion, fixed discount, percentage discount, free product or free shipping. You can choose between those five. At the moment I'm going to convert points to money. Add a title and the conversion rate is 100 points equals one euro fixed discount, but I can also add a percentage discount. Once again, minimum points, maximum points, display name for the coupon, ordering, coupon expiry and reward visibility. I'm going to save and close. And next I'm going to go to the levels and I'm going to create a new level that is bronze level. Points to collect from 0 to 250. This is the bronze level. Next, I'm going to create a new level that is silver points from 251 to 750. Next level is gold level points from 751 to 1000. 
and last one is platinum 1001 and more now why would i need levels it's because for the bronze level currently i'm gonna add a condition that is customer level is bronze and they earn only one point for every 10 euros save it i'm gonna create a new campaign and this one is for the silver customers they earn two points for every 10 euros at condition customer level and this time it's silver next is gold and they earn three points for every 10 euros once again i'm gonna add a condition this time it's gold save and close and last one is platinum they earn four points for every 10 euros last time i'm gonna add a condition and platinum as you see you can add user roles customer points language currency card subtotal and all sorts of different conditions here based on your needs for example for the specific product category you can add more or less points but why would i need those levels as you see the more the user purchases the more points they earn which is once again a nice way to build the loyalty now i'm gonna log in in a private view to see whether the system works i'm gonna go to the shop and you'll see it displays earn up to 27 points let's open up this category here i'm gonna purchase this product purchase and earn 131 points add to cart i'm gonna go to the checkout place the order and now the thing is since i did not pay for the order currently it's on hold that is no points are rewarded but i'm gonna set the status to processing and when i go to the dashboard open up points and rewards now i have earned more points if i open up my rewards it says that since i have 384 points i'm on the silver level it displays that i have to earn 220 points more to unlock next level and the next level is gold so let's test it i'm gonna go to the product page let's purchase two those products place the order change the status of the order back to the dashboard and points now i have 726 points and it says i'm on the cold level under the my rewards it displays the same information i can see my rewards and it displays what i have earned so far now let's go back to the wp loyalty menu open up campaigns and let's create a new campaign this time it's a reward based on spending let's add a title spending more than 1000 euros next i'm going to choose a type of reward points or coupon reward i'm going to set points for example they will get extra 100 points if they spend more than 1000 euros all the information down below here is the same i'm not going to add any other conditions just save and close and now if i scroll down there is a ways to earn rewards if i refresh the page you'll see 100 extra points will be added if i spend more than 1000 euros let's create another campaign this time it's for signing up title is sign up bonus i'm gonna give you 50 points for signing up save and close refresh it and you'll see it displays here if i open up the widget and earn it will also display here okay to keep it short i'm not gonna create all the campaigns but just the next one here for example birthday campaign let's add a birthday bonus 200 points when the reward will be given on their birthday when providing birthday date i'm gonna set on their birthday save and close and now when we go to the customers menu as you see there is a birthday up here now the question is how does the customer has an option to change the birthday if they go to the my account page and scroll down there is a ways to earn birthday bonus 200 points here they can edit the birthday awesome now as you saw setting up the loyalty system is really easy currently there are 12 different campaign types you can add for example let customers earn points and rewards for achievement for example moving up a level daily sign in 
reward for the customers to follow your pages, for the email share, for the Facebook share, Twitter share, WhatsApp share. You can reward them points for reviewing the products and so on. The logic behind every campaign is basically the same. Just create a campaign, add your points, add conditions if needed and done. I have used this plugin for a while now and it's an awesome plugin. So if you need a great loyalty program for your site, then this is the way to go. Now, if you're not an experienced WooCommerce user, then I have made a separate video about the first seven steps to start your WooCommerce shop. This video is on the screen right now. So be sure to take a look at it next. In the meantime, take care.